The French commentaries, I mean, it's... It's fantastic. It is fantastic. And so is Olivier Giroud. Uh, Jay, you Olivier Giroud fan? I'm an Olivier Giroud fan, but I'm also a massive Thierry Henry fan. So ah. although I'm, I'm, you know, it's good for Olivier Giroud, especially because he, he always seems to have this like if attached to him when, when people talk about his football career. It's almost as if, as if he's never been quite good enough to, to please everybody. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad for him that he's, you know, he's levelled the record and is obviously in a great position to surpass it. But then obviously, I love Thierry Henry, so I'm, like, I'm sad to see him lose that record. Right. I mean, they're, they're sharing it for the moment, are they not? They're both on yeah, 51. But it's like the inevitable's coming you at this feel. point. Although Giroud didn't score at all in the last World Cup. So, but a great start to, to this. He gets a brace in that 4-1 win. A game which started in unexpected fashion. Mm. Australia scored. Yes. Yeah, not, not too many. Um, I think predicted that. And it's interesting, their, their selection, Craig Goodwin hadn't played tons, their winger. Um, mm. They seemed like they were set up to sort of cross... Uh, quite heavily from wide areas, Craig will win a left footer off the left, um, and Matthew Leckie a right footer on the right, and the big man Mitchell Duke up top. Um, so intrigued to see how they do in the rest of the group, Australia. Mm. Um, I think they've got obviously more favourable fixtures coming up, um, and I don't think they scored a non penalty goal at the last World Cup, or maybe the one before that either. So uh, they've finally got a non penalty goal. Yeah, and it was a it was a very well taken goal mm. as well. France a little bit uh, stung by that. The, the next thing that happened to them was a, an injury for Lucas Hernandez, which saw his brother, Teo Hernandez, brought on instead, which is yet another injury for a already depleted France squad. But in this specific game, might have actually brought some, some, some benefits. Mm. Uh, I thought they were interesting. Deschamps spoke before the tournament about switching back to a 4-2-3-1. They'd used the back three really well in the Nations League. Um, and I was intrigued that uh, Hernandez was playing really high up on the left and Pavard on the right was a lot deeper, lower down the pitch. His job seemed to be almost stay out of the way at times, stay inside and let those passes get played to Usman Dembele, who I think as well was fantastic out wide. Um, it was a really well sort of balanced um, France attack, I think, in terms of having a lot of good games and good players. Um, you know, obviously Mbappe among the goals again, Giroud, as we've said, Dembele. It didn't feel like they were limited to one or two players. Yeah. Um, and that's why I think they created so much and, and scored so much. Here's a stat for you. Uh, Adrian Rabbe with, uh, with, with the other scorer, with the, um, with the first of the French goals. In fact, with this quartet of scoring strikes, France have already scored more group stage goals in this World Cup than they did in... The 2002 edition, the 2006 edition, the 2010 edition, the 2018 edition. I'm, I mean, I want to draw a con crazy conclusion from that, but 2002, they get knocked out of the group stage. Yeah. 2006, they reach the final. 2010 is the, the dominant, everything went wrong off oh, the pitch. Yeah. And 2018, they win it. So yeah. I, I don't know how much <laughs> to read into it. Obviously, it's really impressive. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, how worried should Deschamps be by the mounting injury list? I think in, incredibly worried because they just seem to be absolutely dropping like flies. And I think there was even a point in the second half where Teo Hernandez was on the, the receiving end of quite a nasty challenge. And, and we all kind of looked at each other and thought, here we go again. We know France's quality. We know they've got the individuals to, to, to potentially win the tournament. But when you've lost... Kante, Pogba, Kimpembe, Lucas Hernandez. Benzema. You know, Benzema, how can I forget Benzema? It just becomes more and more difficult um, to field your best players and to field players in a system that they're all comfortable with and they play with each other all the time. So hopefully they'll be able to get over it. But I mean, if they suffered any more injuries, then it, it become even more difficult. Mm. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel.